Hi there, my name is Swetha Swarthmar. I research about food, I write about food, and in this week's video, I'm going to be answering the question, what is chewing gum made of? So if you take a look at the ingredients in a chewing gum packet, it will often list the uh, word gum base in it, in all the chewing gum, irrespective of whether it's sugar or sugar-free uh, chewing gum. Now gum base refers to the base of the gum and it constitutes about 30% of the product. The remaining 70% is made of um, sugars or sugar substitutes and flavors and colors and so on. Now the original uh, chewing gum that is sparked all this chewing gum cra craze was from a natural product. It was actually called chicle. It came from the latex of the sapodilla tree. The tree was found in the uh, Yucatan Peninsula rainforest uh, in Mexico. And so they would um, you know, tap the tree and get the latex from it and boil it down and make the chewing gum base, gum base at that time. Now, the, uh, over time, by 1930, the world demand exceeded what could be taken tapped out of the, these trees and so much so that it was predicted within 40 years all the trees would have been wiped out to keep up with the demand. And why is that? It's because every tree can be only tapped completely every four to five years. It needs that time to heal and grow back. Now remember that the latex in these trees are actually a defense mechanism to prevent attacks from bacteria and insects and, and all kinds of uh, problems for the tree. In the uh, act of tapping over and over the trees, it actually it might just kill the plant. And so this was the problem that was faced by the manufacturers at that time. And they switched to synthetic gum base. Now these synthetic gum base comes from petroleum based products and uh, they are can roughly be broadly categorized into three parts. One is the resin, the second is the elastoma and the third is the wax or the softener. The resin is the plastic component that gives you the chew of the gum. The elastoma is the rubbery component that gives you the stretch of the gum. And the wax or the softener, as the name suggests, it softens the gum. Now, what is the actual synthetic ingredient that goes into these products? It is something that the, the manufacturers do not have to reveal. It's because that if you go to the FDA or the FSSAI websites, they have listed in FDA's case 46 ingredients that could potentially make up the gum base and in FSSAI it has 14 which you would think is really low but in the 14 there are broad categories like synthetic rubber latex and synthetic resin which then could also involve you know it could mean many ingredients that could come under that category. So technically, you could have ingredients like polyethylene, polyvinyl acetate, um, uh, you know, uh, rubber, uh, paraffin wax, petroleum wax, um, you know, hydrogenated uh, gum, and then things like that that could be under listed under gum base, but it is not revealed to the consumer. Now these ingredients are not toxic, they are all approved and regulated by the, uh, by the government so they are fine safety use. The, however, these elements are not degrade, biodegradable. So if as a consumer you want to get something that is biodegradable, now there are small manufacturers that are cropping up which are going back to the chicle which is the natural source from the tree and this time around hopefully they're tapping it just in the right amount so that it is a sustainable in the long term. So I hope this answers your question on what makes a chewing gum and so it's, um, I hope it is useful to you and I'll see you in the next video with another food item. Until then, thank you and goodbye.